So hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks. As you can see I am playing here with my bat shot uh, in the middle of a fisherman's bay and uh, situation is in a relatively start. I've been just trying to be looking what I would want to be trying to do being a little bit of a just well I haven't been sure which way I would want to be trying to go so I've been trying to just uh, keep a spot in this area and just be shooting when I can sniping in the other side as you can notice like I've done some damage to the ALF E100 I've been thinking if I should be trying to start moving somewhere else but he is very nicely in there and I'm starting to be reloaded very soon so I'm just thinking about taking him out of the game it's nonetheless one very nice uh, turret then out of the game. Here I'm being a little bit too brave in all honesty when I was trying to see if I could still try to do something more. But I'm not the best medium tank player for sure. And I'm very rarely actually in this middle area because I don't feel that comfortable in here, generally speaking. So I'm just trying to be playing a relatively cautious game at this moment. Just like trying to see where I should be watching and where should I be looking into but at the moment I'm thinking that I might be also heading to the town region because they are advancing from there so I'm thinking that I might be more useful in there than trying to be staying here in the middle when I don't really feel that comfortable here anyways so that's what I am doing at the moment then we are still winning and yeah the ALF E100 didn't like that I killed him for well I still saw him, I knew where he was and all that. I don't know why he wants to be reporting me, but okay, whatever. Uh, apparently I did get reported though. I have more important business here though than to pay attention to him, trying to see if I could take out the E100 or at least uh, do damage to the E100 anyways. Not able to take him out, of course. And yes, I apparently know what I did. I don't, in all honesty, I don't know what I did. But fine, other than shoot him when he was visible. And well, of course he did disappear from view, but why wouldn't have I taken that shot when I knew that he was approximately there? So I don't know. <sighs> who knows, who knows. But yeah, I'm thinking about now then going from the right side going around so that I might try to be shooting this E100 or whatever otherwise would be coming from there. Probably will not be able to be quick enough to keep the level alive though, which is unfortunate. But still at least uh, to take the E100 out to stop their advance advantage in here would be good. And at least I take the E100 out. But the Banshee definitely has a different uh, style of play because of its reload time. I think the Yachtiger is turning around, which is the reason I'm not going to be going from that side. And just seeing if he is actually advancing or what he is doing, I think that I might be able to surprise him better from this angle. And so I try to be moving in. And that is indeed the case. That was just a bad shot from me. I shouldn't have tried to shoot at that moment. This is the reason that I'm not able to kill the Yachtiger anymore. But at least gonna take that one shot. Here, just staying for a moment and trying to inform that I'm reloading. And hoping that the artillery might be able to shoot him or something. And when he's uh, turning the other way, I'm just trying to be making my way out of there as quickly as I can. Trying to maneuver a little bit, just trying to get to the corner here as quickly as possible. Gladly and luckily I didn't get damaged there. So I've been lucky in a few cases there where I might have been able to get damaged or get damaged. I didn't notice that our artillery did even manage to actually do it. To take the uh, tiger away at this moment. Which is the reason that I'm being more cautious about it. That area than I would have needed to be. But yeah, I didn't notice that he actually already took the Yak Tiger out. But yeah, I definitely am not the best player with uh, Batshat. It's a nice tank. It's a very nice medium tank. It's very different. But I definitely <laughs> am not uh, the best person to use it to my advantage. I try, but I'm not the best for sure. But yeah, trying to go and look into the middle from here and of course see if the Yachtiger would have been alive, which he of course isn't. But aiming to go 
towards the T34 and the middle area from the sender here. My ally, my platoon mate, unfortunately died there, which is unfortunate. Now we only have those few tanks in the gap circle, plus of course our artillery who has been able to do at least a pretty good job. It's a shame that I'm not able to take that IS-3 out though. But I'm at least thinking that I will be trying to shoot this T-34 out. Because I can. Trying to see if I could spot the IS-3 still, but I couldn't. So I'm just uh, deciding to back away then. Because they know nonetheless where I was. So I decided to at least uh, try to see about some other place or some other direction. The AMX is also moving to the town direction. And... Uh, now they, we can see that the tortoise is actually coming basically across the field there, interestingly enough. And just trying to see if I could spot the IS-3 or anything from here carefully. But I'm not able to shoot there, so I'm just trying to be relatively careful. I'm wondering if I should be doing a reload or not, because two bullets, two shots are not really that much. So yeah, I'm deciding to just do a reload at this moment at least while turning towards our base. I'm not trusting the Yacht Tiger to stay alive and I don't want them to at least get to our artillery easily, basically. I might have also just tried to wait for the reload and just go from the go and take out the IS-3 from the middle and then try to be looking towards those guys from the middle area. That might have been a better idea, but I really wasn't sure what I would want to do when I especially was reloading. I was trying to see, thinking if I could try to see if I could try to make a shot into him. There's a possibility of trying to shoot into him, but I don't want to be staying in one place for too long for the artillery, of course. Most of all, because of the artillery. Plus then, the tortoise has an accurate gun, so he can very easily try to shoot me. And just wanted to make a spot and just try to be cautious as that about the artillery and just trying to stay more or less in safety. We are not really in a hurry to take that guy out. I'm trying to look if I could shoot him from here. I thought that I couldn't, but then I saw just a little bit of him, but yeah. Our Lorraine killed our AMX, but I don't think the Lorraine has that many shots and well, I kind of feel or what we talk with the platinum mate as well, that it's most likely best to just try to go and take out this door toys quickly. I don't wanna, I'm not making a shot because I want to make sure that I take him out. So I just go around him, try to make sure that I at least hit the track, if nothing else, and know that I could take him out with the second shot then. And just trying to keep in the move. I don't want to approach the Lorraine directly from here, so I'm thinking about going that way from the middle here. So that's basically what I am indeed doing then. Well, basically this is pretty much a win, or should be, considering the Lorraine is in low hit points, and I still have 1000 or so hit points. The GV Tiger P is of course ready. He, well, I'm sure he's aiming that way, so he can also try to be shooting him if he just happens to be coming around. But yeah, I'm just, I just wanted to make sure to rather try to approach that way from a direction that the Lorraine wouldn't expect. And there he is, and our own artillery took him out already. So I'm just gonna be speeding things up here because then it's just taking care of the one artillery. I even make a stupid jump here <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm just making here like a jump so that I have to be repairing my own tracks. It's not really a big deal, but it was silly, silly, silly thing of me to do. But yeah, I wasn't really paying attention that much in the right way. But we also, I find the artillery and he is aiming at me. I could go there and probably kill him because he's not that good of a player. But I really rather do not risk it. We have an artillery who is aiming this way. So why not just make it sure that that guy doesn't accidentally one shot me or something and our artillery misses. And then we would be uh, in a possible draw situation because of that, which would be silly. 
So that was a victory. It was nonetheless a nice enough of a game. At least um, a little bit how you should be playing Batshot. In a way of trying to use your speed and reload and shot times to your advantage, like in the city area. But as I said, I'm not the best player with the Batshot. There's way better players in medium tanks anyways. But still, it was nice enough of a game considering that I'm not really a medium tank player. So let's uh, check the post battle results now then. So I made overall that 5000 damage and nonetheless 1100 or so spotting damage. So an okay game. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time in another episode of World of Tanks at some point in the future. See ya.